it's nice and toasty warm. Yeah. Ooh. I want to congratulate these new leaders that have been um, uh, duly elected to help serve the conference. This is an extraordinary leadership team, and those who have been reelected who uh, have earned those positions well. Um, this was a, a, a group and a body today that worked together and did some really extraordinary things. And so today we began this morning, as, as, um, as Steve Scalise just told you, our majority leader, uh, that uh, we began with President Trump, and he came to visit us. It was a bit of a pep rally. Uh, everybody feels very confident, very encouraged about the days ahead, and he gave us a very inspirational message, and he uh, talked about the importance of maintaining unity and standing with this leadership team to go forward. Um, it was very well received, and that set the tone for our day, and we had a very productive day together as a Republican conference, and the theme that you'll hear over and over from all of our members across the conference is that we are unified and energized and ready to go. We have to deliver for the American people beginning on day one in the new Congress, and we will be ready for that. Our conference elections, and we have a solid, unified team ready to deliver. You can make an argument that we're facing collectively as a nation the greatest collection of challenges that we've had probably since World War II, maybe the Civil War, some people say. So serious times call for serious leadership. It's going to be a policy agenda-driven administration and a Congress, and you've heard us say many times that it could be, I believe it will be, the most consequential Congress in the modern era, most consequential administration in the modern era, because frankly we have to fix almost every area of public policy. So I want to again tip my hat to the chairs of two of our most important and active caucus. Uh, I've, Matt and I were classmates. We came to Congress at the same time in the 115th Congress in January 2017. And alphabetically, we're seated right next to one another in Judiciary Committee. We served there together for seven years. Some of y'all who cover Judiciary know those are long meetings. So I got to know Matt very well. Look, I'll, t I'll say this. Everyone who served with him will tell you he's one of the most intelligent uh, members of Congress. Um, he's a, an accomplished attorney. He's very concerned about the lawfare that has been uh, occurring in the Department of Justice justice under the Biden administration and the fact that the American people have lost their faith in our institutions of justice because of everything that they've seen. He's a reformer uh, in, in his um, mind and heart, and I think that he'll bring a lot to the table on that. This is in the, within the Republican conference, the House Freedom Caucus, Dr. Andy Harris, Congressman Harris. And Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.